Here's a puzzle for you. How can a rock float like a boat? In 1883, the island of Krakatoa exploded in a huge volcanic eruption. It was so powerful that it sent 40-meter-high tsunamis across the Indian Ocean. That's 130 feet tall. People could hear the explosion from Australia, 3,000 miles away. That's like hearing a sound from San Francisco in Philadelphia. The ash fell as far away as New York and caused weird sunsets for years. And there was something else. Sailors in the Indian Ocean reported seeing huge rafts of stones floating on the ocean surface. What was this stuff? Was it really rock? Actually, it was. It was pumice, a special kind of rock that comes from volcanoes. I have some pieces of lava here. Lava means any kind of rock that comes out of a volcano. This lava didn't come from Krakatoa, but from a beach on Thera, a volcanic island off the coast of Greece. The black rock is shiny like glass, with little bubbles and white crystals in it. The red color of this one is caused by oxidation. That means it contains iron, and it rusted. The white rock has so many holes in it that it looks like a sponge. When I pick it up, it feels more like a piece of styrofoam than a rock. It's so light that when I put it next to the red rock, they still weigh less than the black one, even though they're bigger. But can any of these rocks actually float? Well, let's try it and see. The black rock sinks like a stone. The red one sinks too. Let's try the white rock. It really does float. So what makes pumice float? Is it A. Density B. Gravity or C. Tractor beams? To find out the answer, please go to my webpage where I've also got a cool video of the new Krakatoa volcano erupting. See you there!